three escape attempts. <laughs> Like one of the wretched witches shot you dead last time. Sorry to hear that, huh? Have you tried shooting them first? Shut up. I haven't. A pitiful attempt. You'll get the hang of it out there, lad. For all our sparring practice, there's no teacher like the real thing. Now then, I have something for you. Hmm? What, wait, you're giving me your codex? I can't accept something like this. Please, I insist. I want your love of history to grow, not just your love of warfare. Besides, maybe you can finish out the rest of it. I'm grateful. Codex. Oh. Tobos. Maybe not so bad. He's cute. Okay, hang on a second. <laughs> what is there to say about the master? The master not just of the house in which I walk, but of the entirety of the domain beneath the earth. The place we all end up after we die. He is a god of character, I have to give him that. In life I once served someone who reminded me of him a little, you even... Yet even the kingliest of mortals pales in comparison. Suffice it then to say that the Lord Hades takes matters of his fate-appointed underworld in utmost seriousness. The master of the heavens, god among gods, so much of my mortal life was impacted by him, and now, even in death, I serve his brother. I do not think that I have much to say for the Lord Zeus, which is not widely known already. House of Hades. Having been appointed by the fates to reign beneath the earth for an eternity, the master was awarded a permanent place of residence at the base of his domain, in addition to a wide variety of responsibilities to the dead. The Stygian Blade. Stygius, the blade of the underworld, must have been among the finest weapons ever wielded, back when it was whole, back when the six elder gods sealed the titans in the deepest recesses of Tartarus. That blade evidently played no small role in their success. It must have been... Lord Poseidon, who brandished that blade before he opted for the trident he so likes. Now the blade lies broken, survived only by its burning soul. Okay. What are these? You keep an eye on father for me, boy. Don't let him sour up everyone's mood. Oh, oh. Cerberus promises to do exactly that in his own way. You don't like it when I pet your other heads, huh? No. He's so cute! I love him! Father, what happened to the lounge? The only place for anyone to have a little fun around here, and you seal it shut. Oh, I had little choice about that boy. You see, after you fled the first time, Cerberus, why, he was very much upset. Utterly tore the place to shreds. It's now under repair. All thanks to you. Blame me for everything. Really blaming me for not minding the dog while I was out and while you all were here. <laughs> I lay the blame entirely upon you, yes. Who else? It's fortunate that Cerberus has calmed himself since then. Come to his senses, I should say. May you yet come to yours. What's that there? Something from the fates? I don't have anything for that yet. Wait. Maybe you'll have something more affordable next time. Hmm. <clears throat> Nix, sometimes I get the impression the Olympians look down on those of us born of the underworld. Is that my imagination, or what do you make of it? The gods of Mount Olympus tend to think themselves above us, child. Or so your father often likes to say. He alone was relegated to this realm, and grew resentful of his relatives on high. I can't imagine him otherwise. Mm-hmm. My power grows. 
Should I keep the keys for this? Two new talents hidden inside the mirror of night. Or hidden inside you. Nice place you got here, boyo. Name Skelly has it going, but enough with the small talk already. I'm here to do a job. So let me have it. Give me everything you got. I don't remember having you on payroll, mate. Who's your supervisor? Oh, I'm not about to wrap my sources, pal. Just try and beat it out of me. If, if you insist. insist. That. The courtyard of the House of Hades is kept neat and orderly, in contrast to the terrifying sprawl that lies beyond. It's not that orderly, really. The shield or the spear? Let's try the spear first. Open up. Varatha, the eternal spear. Join my pursuit. Okay, I think it's got more range. Yeah, definitely more range. It's got a spin attack. Didn't hurt. No, didn't. And I'm dead. <laughs> and I'm dead. <laughs> Oh, I like the spear. Just need to get from here across all that. Okay. Again. Again. Gust of air. Apollo. This mark, almost like a batwing. In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. Hey boss, found you. Good. Hermes. At your service. Pleasure. You are the talk of Olympus. Normally I wouldn't get mixed up, but for you, I'll be making an exception. Now come on, we've both got places to be. The messenger. Old cast to fire in rapid succession. Quick reload. Quickly dash to recover some HP. Huh. Let's try that. Appreciate the lift, Lord Hermes, sir. Now let's go. Must have been a sight when Lord Hades wielded Varasa the Eternal Spear versus the Titans. Loving back those fiends into the depths, together with the help of his Olympian brothers and sisters. There's more? Oh, thug. Dead and Tartarus are here in general because they did not serve a noble, they did not deserve a noble death. They were knaves, scoundrels, cutthroats, the worst that mortals have to offer. Practitioners of foul arts, their lives inevitably were cut short, but now continue in a way within the bowels of the earth. Here, the sole remaining source of purpose that they have is to snuff out the final vestiges of life that find their way into this grim domain. Going up. What's that? I'm unfamiliar with this. Don't get in my way.
I'm rich. Oh, just coin. Be more careful of those skulls. Keep moving. You're gone. Good, come on in. That's a fountain. Oh, that's a shop. Cost in blood. Gain of random item. Attack deals plus 30% damage for 16 counters. What do I get? Prometheus Stone. What? What's that? Gain oh cast for six encounters. It drank during your father's glory days. I guess there's a lot. Special inflicts doom. Your cast sends a blade rift hurtling ahead. Slashing metal vortex. Dash creates a blade rift. I like dash things. This means war. I hate this thing. Yeah, that thing. 
Yeah, it's a thing. particularly light on your feet there, Zagreus. I'd figure Hermes himself was speeding you along, except I've not seen him about in... been a while, really. Attack is stronger with critical chance. Special is stronger with critical chance. Damage has a chance of critical. Let's take that. The might of the Huntress. Must be the fountain chamber I commissioned back at home. Oh, really? Nice. Um, I want... I want to look at that. How do I get that? Oh. A place of calm and respite, whilst perhaps unimaginable in the underworld, occasionally is to be found, in fact. And not a moment too soon. Festus or the shop? What is this? Wretches. Okay, that works too. So since is traded Mr. Sense traded in that terrifying weapon for an even larger two pronged fork he likes to brandish in threat. Noting sometimes its superiority to the trident of Lord Poseidon, which he insists is a mere copy. Varatha, meanwhile, has seen better days, but it is a weapon built for war. There is ample room in Tartarus even for these prodigious boorish entities, who doubtless were intolerable even when they lived. The ashes of the dead are copious with the underworld, within the underworld, sometimes congealing into awful little spirits keen to cause whatever strife and mischief that they can. Time to mix up my style. Special hits up to seven foes. Hold special for 200% base damage. All the attack to strike rapidly, but you cannot spin. My spear grows stronger. I like it. What's this? Get out of my screen. More. Oof! A bottle of nectar. Which gives me what? Who should I give this to? Born of chaos, the underworld is a domain of pure and utter darkness. Sometimes this dark essence becomes manifest through all of the raging of the dead and all the strife that can unfold beneath the earth. The world itself is alive, in a way, is it not? Even the realm of the dead, all of us here, the world with it, we flow through time as blood flows through the mortal veins. Look carefully and you shall find that there is power, feeling, in the earth itself. And, like any power, it seeks to be claimed, to be held. With all this in mind, as well as due to appearance, I suppose, do bloodstones take their name. Hmm. 
Mother Knight, we like to call her, though rare is the occasion when she dotes on us. She has her many, many children to look after, many of whom reside now in locales well beyond my reckoning, and perhaps even beyond hers. Take one look at him, and I think any question of his parentage are soon resolved. He never seemed to like it much, though growing up within Lord Hades' well-appointed house, one day I took him on as a disciple, under orders from Lord Hades. The master worried that his heir lacked any firm direction in his life, and indeed Zengus took well to the martial ways, and I am proud to say now that he was my student. Palm or gold? Let's take palm. Increase attack damage or increase rift damage. Nothing else for me here. We get this for one more round. Hi. Oh, I give a gift. I'm indebted to you, goddess for all that you and your side of the family have done for me. Well, it simply isn't in my nature to allow such offerings to go unanswered, noble cousin. In turn, I wish for you to have this with my compliments. Lady Athena, thank you. Owl pendant? What is what? something cousin if even artemis is aiding you it's proof your cause is just she doesn't often take an interest in family affairs especially stronger and can deflect after you take damage damage around you and briefly deflect resist damage from traps this could be helpful Your wisdom guide me. Hey, Meg! Ever stubborn, aren't you? Maybe my whip might make you reconsider whatever it is that you're attempting here. Your whip's not been all that persuasive in the past. Maybe persistence will pay off for both of us. Come then. God damn it, I'm not moving fast enough. Didn't work. I'm very bad at this. Ah. God damn it, Meg. Damn you, Meg. 
You know what? I am gonna activate God Mode because... Uh, otherwise I'm gonna be here a while. Shades of the dead mill constantly within the house, complaining of their woes. No, I speak English. From any who would listen. I listen. Ha! Megara the Fury got you again! She is unstoppable, isn't she? One time, I tried to stop her on the way to have a chat with your dad, and she didn't even turn her head! <laughs> My condolences. <laughs> something again. Achilles, is it really true that Cerberus ripped the lounge up right after I left? He must have gotten in a lot of trouble. I only wish you could have seen it, lad. The place looked like a vineyard after a typhoon. Your Lord Father was livid. But he never gets so angry with the dog. Poor Dusa, though, she's picking the place up. Mm. Oh no. I wonder what became of Dusa. She's always worried Father's going to fire her, even without something like this. Well, I'm using the spear and I like the spear now. And I don't think I've unlocked the trident. You really ripped the lounge to pieces, boy? I hope you didn't get yourself in too much trouble. I'm sorry to have worried you like that. The guilt-racked monster Cerberus admits to committing the crime, expressing some remorse for having implicated the incendiary prince. Cheer up, boy. It'll be all right. I mean, old father's nice to you, at least, isn't he, boy? I love him so much. Blood and darkness. But this place is falling apart. Nobody works an honest day down here. Father, everybody's dead. <laughs> <laughs> what would you even know of honest work? At least the wretched dead yet honor me as lord. I cannot say the same for you. I can't afford any of this. Wonder where Nyx went. What did Nyx go? Let's have a look here. Nyx's strength. It's more of a throwing attack. Uh, yeah, it just leaves me defenseless. Let me give you a piece of advice, boyo. You run across a guy like me out there, you just give him a good stab right in the back without a second thought before he sends you crying back to Papa. I'll keep that in mind, mate. What? What death? What is death? The path toward the surface lies somewhere beyond all that. Check the display case. Got something oh! Next boon you will find will be from Athena. The blessings have a percent chance to be rare or better. Clear 25 encounters with this to rank up. Go with that one. By death from the mirror? Death Defiance. Yeah, I'll get to it. There's a very big difference between death and death defiance. Okay. What's Uncle Poseidon doing here? I have to tell you something, little Hades. My relatives and I, we've been holding back one of our greatest gifts to see if you were worthy. And you are. My aid is yours. So call me if you need anything. Especially to smash your enemies to bits. Oh, what's this? Your call makes you surge into foes while impervious for 1.2 seconds. Hmm. I'll try that. Press D for an Olympian's aid if you have such a boon. Use one stock of your god ga gauge or all four stocks for a much stronger effect. The wrath of Poseidon at my beck and call.
Hmm. Okay. That is an ominous looking portal on the ground right there. Hang on, what? Mm. I can use this to unlock a weapon. What? Descend? Huh, okay. Descend to where? So all I need to do is sacrifice some of my life essence to go in here. Ah, oh, don't see oh. why not. Chaos. Is that? There must be some place even darker, even deeper than the lowest depths of Tartarus, or even ta for even Tartarus spying forth from somewhere else. The lowest reaches of the underworld are reserved not just for the master's own abode, but for benefits of every wretch who, in the course of drawing breath, failed every opportunity to leave any sort of positive impression behind. Heartseeker. Kornacht, so-called Heartseeker, is certainly the finest bow ever conceived and wielded once by none other than Mistress Hera, who stood side by side with Zeus, or for in better terms back then, as they drove back the Titans under a storm of arrows and thunder. Hera since abandoned her once warlike ways, quite understandably, for she has greater matters to attend to now. However, Koronacht yet yearns for further bloodshed. Namskal. This is the land of death. Anything that lives is likely to be rather bothersome here, and the Namskal certainly fit this profile. Voracious little creatures. The Lord Hades is nonetheless opted not to exterminate them all, since they do have a tendency to prey on foolish shades who dare to leave their station. Scholomet? The hideous appearance of this mound of human-looking skulls effectively deters any who wander out into the reaches of the underworld. The deepest reaches of the underworld. The void from which all life and consciousness sprang forth during the dawn of time. The realm of chaos. A land almost unseen even to denizens of death's kingdom. Could you keep it down? <laughs> This is not someone I recognize. So, in the name of Hades... Um, hello. May I ask who's calling? We the beings have all grown soft. Would you not agree? Hello, Chaos. Um, have we met? Oh, we have met in a way. I know everybody here and there. You wish to leave this place? And it is my wish to make your doing so a little bit more interesting. 
and I'd give them part of the other pieces someday to give them my regards. Next three encounters take plus 356 damage from traps, afterward gain one bloodstone. You have 55 movement speed and deal more backstab damage. Next three encounters, each time you attack you hit for minus three. Afterwards any gold you find is worth 55%. Let's try it. I'll have to withstand the whims of chaos to extract the benefits of few chambers from Oof. there. Even Nyx, our mother knight, comes from somewhere. Even the Olympians above, and Master Hades himself, eternal though they are, they come they came in onto this world after they or their ancestors sprang from the darkness. Chaos. The Stygian boatman is a lot of things, although I am afraid he isn't much for conversation. I have tried, though perhaps not persuasively enough. It is said that sleep is the cousin of death. That turns out to be not quite correct, insofar as the two, in fact, are brothers, born to Nyx herself, the former of the two. We call him Hypnos. He whiles, he whiles away, half sleeping, watching over the pool of sticks in the foyer of the house, taking stock of those arriving in the master's domain, or returning to it. Uh, key. Brimstones. Should not have done that. Oh my god. Every time I hit? Okay, that was not fun. It was one of the potential outcomes of my gift. Yeah, thanks. Each time I die like that, I come back stronger. Uh, hang on a moment. Not important. Not important. Not important. I forgot to do this. Okay. What? Uh, oh, ha -hoo, looks like one of those little numbskulls took a big old bite right out of you back there. I guess they got you, huh? Maybe if you weren't quite so tasty, they'd leave you alone. And so would I. Leave me alone, Hypnos. Okay. I happen to know whom I should thank for the weapons just outside my chambers, Achilles. Mm -hmm. I'm sure I wouldn't have. Though if I happen to run into them, I'll let them know. Yes, uh, I see no reason to regale you with stories of my past. If I said that I fought as bravely as I could alongside many of the finest men the world has ever known. I buried far too many of them and sent many others to this place, where now at last we all are peers. I am fortunate the master of the house took pity upon me and spared me from eternal boredom in Elysium with an existence closer to the times when I still lived and had a job to do. The animated skeleton and I, we seldom get along. He is too talkative for me and spouts such simple condescensions to all those in earshot, seemingly as though we were an expert in the ways of war. How's everything been going lately, boy? What's the good word? 
The Underworld Prince's casual inquiry serves but to frustrate the Infernal Hound, as none of his three heads possess the gift and curse of speech. It's okay. You like it when you get pets like this, don't you, boy? Hey, treat your dog nicely. He's back already, Cerberus. Just as I indicated. I'm standing right here, Father. I'm sorry he disturbed your rest again, Cerberus. You've done a good job. The realm is well defended still to the high standard that you set. Hey, the lounge is open. A commemorative board adorns one of the stoic walls within the lounging area, celebrating and proclaiming the accomplishments of those who serve Lord Hades best of all. Won't ever see my face up on that wall, I guess. Yep. Greetings, Chef. <gasps> oh, the prince himself. Do so. You want to talk to me? Me? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I, uh, just wanted to say, don't bother picking up my room today. I'm headed out for a while. I, 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 I have to clean the rafters. I... Thanks I do, sir. Hard work. Splendid house, such as the master's own, requires a great deal of cleaning, and the little Gorgon seems forever doomed to do it all herself. Back when the six elder gods sealed the titans in the deepest recesses of Tartarus, the blade evidently played no small role in their success. It must have been Lord Poseidon who brandished that blade. Right. Brimstone. The pressures of the lowest reaches of the underworld forged these terrifying crystal entities imbued with overflowing hatred from the essence of the damned, which gives them something much akin to life. So desperate are some souls to escape the realm of the dead that they plunge into the mists of Erebus, even before their sentencing. Having thus been lost, they are never officially registered or heard from again. But there is no escape from death, even for such souls. The Olympians can't really see me, can they, Nyx? I mean, not very well. I get that they can sense details here and there, but they don't know the full extent of what's going on. Are we really so far beyond their influence? You are enshrouded from them, child. For your own benefit and theirs. They know as much as necessary to assist. And I trust they shall, for as long as you require. They are bound to one another as family. And they know that you require aid. Do not be too prideful to accept. Oh, Neville. I won't. I can get stronger. Not yet. Skelly? You're pretty quick, you know, boyo. Just be sure to use that fancy dash of yours and keep him guessing. Don't let him catch you standing still. Dash like mad instead of standing still. That's not the worst advice, I guess. Yeah, that's what I do. Find a or whenever to get me out of here. <laughs> Is there such a thing as a day in here? Oh, it works only on the next boon. Do sex machina, yeah. Do sex machina. Darkness, give me strength. My weapon's hidden talents. Charging your spin attacks makes you sturdy and pulse. The special hits for s up to seven foes. Special deals fifty percent damage, fifty percent critical. Done and done. Who keeps fixing that? <laughs> I don't know. Witches. Got you back.
This can unlock a weapon back at home. Yeah. Gold or boon? I'll take boon. your mother as I understand? No. We Olympians rarely consort with the Chthonic gods. Though Nyx herself reached out to me about your plight and I was spurred to act. Attack is stronger and deflects. Especially stronger and deflects. Cast damage just falls in a small area and deflects. Strength of the goddess. Bomb or another boon. Bomb. Now. Keep them coming. Instantly restore, instant gain, gemstones for house contractors. Attack deals pull 39 damage for 6 encounters. I like more options. Ow. Walked into that one. You bear the blessing of Athena, yes. She would protect you from your enemies, whilst I would rather that you slay them and be done. Cast sends Blade Rift, Dash creates Blade Rift, Attack Special, and Cast deal more damage. Let's try this one. The War God's power. It's slower, but I like it. Let's go, lads.
that's what what you get ah it seems to me you've had yourself a spot of lady trouble lately. <laughs> isn't that correct nephew i mean the fury down in tartarus of course you're going to let her keep on bossing you around no dash damages and knocks away call surge into foes while impervious Uh, rewards are mo worth more. Hmm. I like this. Let's make some waves, right, Uncle? <laughs> Let's make some waves. Farewell. Ow. Yeah, these oh, assholes I don't want to keep in range. I'll just keep this on me. Oh, nice. Those fucking traps. Gemstones. Models cherish these stones of many brilliant colors, going to lengths to excavate them from the earth, to steal them to be blunt from the rightful domain of Master Hades. The Master also values them, for light exists in limited supply down here, and light reflected through a gemstone facet is most valuable of all. The underworld is best known as the domain of death, but it is also the domain of countless wealth and riches, sent into the river Styx along with the deceased. The equine centaurs are well known for their unlimited endurance, and although their reign has long since passed from the mortal realm above, their resolve lives on within the underworld. I can have darkness, and that's what I got. I should look at in the name of Hades. Attack inflicts doom. Blade ref infects last longer. Blade effects deal damage in a wider area. And I should use it more. Um. Stronger and deflects uh, dash damages. Blade rift. 
Why do I you? Flash damage. They must have lots of these upon Olympus. Zeus. That's it. Pick it up. You fight your father's legions with Veratha, the eternal spear. It's a good weapon. The irony must not escape him. For he long ago stood by my side against the Titans with that thing in hand. Attack him is chain lightning. Dash. And dash bolts. Okay, dogs are excited. I'll close the door. After you take damage, your foe is stuck by lightning. Revenge damage. Let's try this one. What the hell is that? I'm here, Meg. Hey, Meg. And there you are again. Lord Hades ought to lock you up rather than let you run amok in his domain like this. I'm sure he'd welcome all this feedback from you, Meg. Or maybe you're just pining for my father's job. I have no envy for your father's position. Besides, I happen to enjoy my own responsibilities. What you doing, Meg? Am I supposed to be impressed? No. Ow. Damn, she's gonna kill me! Impossible. Ha! Bye, Meg. Made it. Barely. Yeah, barely. Achilles might know what to do with this. Bounty claim, Titan blood. She almost killed me. Deep within the unfathomable pits of Tartarus lie the remains of the Titans, who once ruled all between heaven and earth. Few traces yet remain of them, due to the thoroughness with which they were dispatched in the war waged by the offspring, the gods, who now reside upon Olympus. Yet those scarce traces do exist, and the terrible power rests within. There is not much to eat here in the underworld, conventionally speaking. The pomegranate is her exception, having made its way down to these depths, perhaps alongside the Lord Hades himself, when the first came to this realm, millions ago. Here, this blood-red fruit holds something of a terrifying power. The master artisan called Daedalus has never known a peer, so it is little accident that the Lord Hades hand selected him from all the shades residing in the underworld to do his bidding for eternity, and for a hallowed place within us Elysium. Somewhere. Certain artifacts within the realm of Hades have been sealed under lock and key to prevent tempering by those not yet prepared to harness their immeasurable might. Those keys, or so they appear, are not so easy to procure. Stats. Next level. How did you? Cell. Can wash away my boons. Hmm. Let's see what's up on sale. Restore 10% when you enter chamber for three chambers. 
Let's click in 30 darkness. Next moon you receive is upgraded rarity. I would like this. This is what I need. And this. I don't think I've gone this far. Thank you. Now we're getting somewhere. I got a... something. Among the many reasons it is best for mortals to strive to treat each other reasonably well is that after having lived their short lives, they may wind up stuck with one another for eternity in the meadows of Asphodel. Inferno Barber. As if forged bronze is insufficient in its keen ability to put an end to life, there have been those who studied the eldritch art of chemistry to fashion devastating fiery devices known as bombs. The once verdant plains of Asphodel are now engulfed in scintillating flame, having been flooded by the river Phlegathon whose hideously superheated contents could bring death swiftly even to those resistant to most heat. I'm only flame resistant, not flame proof. Yeah. It's nice and warm out here, I'll give it that. <laughs> okay. Ah, 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 ah! Not what I meant. The underworld is best known as the domain of death. This is the domain of yeah, okay. Drink of the gods is one of the underworld's most sought-after delicacies, and surely perhaps one of the only sources of genuine likeness here within this realm. Bloodless. The skeletal remains of fallen warriors left with nothing but an insatiable impulse towards violence. They wander the burning fields of Asphodel, hungering for something far beyond their capacity. Good enough. Not finished yet. I like my setup, I just need to remember to use, use it more. Nothing? I'm hoping for at least something. Gems. Moving on. Only flame resistant, not flame proof. There is no escape. Like to think I learned something back there. Uh, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Hypnos must be on break. Hmm. Achilles, sir. I got a relic of some sort out there. A globule of ancient blood which formed after I fought with Megara. Is this really the Titan's blood I found? As far as I know, yes, lad, that it is. Though who's exactly, I'm not so sure. You'd best hang on to it and keep it safe. Your weapons. 
They shall thirst for it and drink it up. Not yet, perhaps, but soon. Well, I wasn't about to drink it. No. Well, sub. Where's Cerberus? Olympus knows of him. Bestowing on him all their worthless blessings here within my realm. Our realm. Explain to me how exactly this is possible, Nix. Either your limitless power has considerably waned, or you are up to something. Do not question my power, Hades. Your son was bound to be discovered the closer he came to the surface. The Olympians are pleased to know they have a distant relative and bid him welcome to their mountain. That is all. Their influence is very limited. Blood and darkness, do not speak to me about their influence. I've seen their influence firsthand. You've made a foolish mistake. You would speak to me of foolish mistakes. You cannot change the course that has been set. Try all you like. Nix. Ah. What's up, Dad? No? No witty retort? Underworld invasion chambers may contain infernal trove. Switch keepsakes between underworld regions. The ever shifting chambers of the underworld ought to be a little livelier with this. Where is my amount of gems? Over here. <coughs> I'll work on cosmetics later. No time to rest. Hey, Meg. When the prodigal son returns, everyone's saying I went easy on you, Zag. Don't worry, Meg. I eventually managed to get home the painful way after all. Look, I have a reputation to uphold. You get past me again like that, you best go all the way. Now leave me be and don't think you're gonna be so lucky next we meet out there. The ancient Fury Sisters deal retribution for eternity against all those whose lives unspeakably befoul the lives of others. They each seem to relish their grim work, though none so much as Megira, the first. He's one of the Chthonics. Hmm. Nothing new here. The Master of the Seas, the Earthshaker, brother to Lord Hades and Lord Zeus, the Lord Poseidon. I am ever grateful that, while I was living, he was merciful to me. Down here, however, I must say I rarely feel his influence. All of us, we are beneath him now. The lounging area within the House of Hades is a dreadful <coughs> place to be, in spite of its intended purpose to enliven the house's grim inhabitants. It's better than nothing. Meg is so cool. Unlock. Show me something new. Infernal Soul. Raise your supply of cast. Deal bonus attack and special damage to foes within the cast. Death Defiance. Oof, that's expensive. Feeling good. What's up? You know something, boyo? I think you could do a real number on one of these columns, holding up this place and bring the whole thing down in just a few swipes. Boom, boom, boom. And hate to be standing near one of them if you did. Mm-hmm. Wreck my father's finely crafted architecture every chance I get. That I can do for sure. Okay, next to unlock would be the shield and we'll test it out. Another day in Tartarus. Or night. I have no idea. Never been to the surface, haven't seen the sun. 
my keepsakes. No turning back. Let's go. It's such a cruelty that your father hid the knowledge of your birth and life from us, my cousin. It's unacceptable. Special is stronger. Cast damages foes. Dash deals damage. What gets updated? Tell me what updated. Of some things I'm certain, one of them is this, that there were many times during my mortal life when my spear found its mark thanks to Pallas Athena. Aphrodite wields her beauty and her charm with much of the same lethality as I could wield a spear. I have seen her handiwork firsthand, and it is often not as pretty as she is. The goddess of the hunt has always held my highest admiration. Unlike so many of her brethren on Olympus, she seems unconcerned with being praised at every turn by mortals, and instead she dutifully holds her station as a master of the natural world. Colorful. More numbskulls? Let's go with health.
That's something. Let's make waves, uncle. Hey, lads. Are they immune to their own bombs? Ow. from Athena there already, little Hades. So careful all the time, that one. But here, I'll help you live a little, just in case. Attack deals more damage and knocks away. Dash damage and knocks away. Attack and special is stronger. I like to make waves. those infernal trolls. Right. Troll trial gain up to 25 gems. Yeah, might as well. Don't make me laugh. Let's make this quick. That's quite enough. Now to collect. Well, the Master is best known for presiding over this vast, this vast realm of death beneath the earth. He has another preoccupation, wealth, riches and the like, perhaps for its own sake, or perhaps as a measure of how effectively he oversees his domain. I'll take it. Yes, I will. Slain falls off the chance to drop items. Next boon has an upgraded rarity. Deal 500%, traps deal 500% damage to your foes. Sold. More brimstones.
point at their base. running into traps delicious although my heart has long since stopped it yet holds love in it for all the gods save one the one who made and ruined me as well I have so kind words I have no kind words to impart to him except perhaps in form of his of this concession. War, much like the heavens and the sea, can be considered as a force of nature. Perhaps I had to feel a kinship with the easygoing son of Zeus, for it is said that he has some mortal blood in him, not just divinity. One of the free spirited sons of Zeus, he is patron to travelers, traders, even tricksters. Useful in spirit and appearance, he could be mistaken for a common lad, if not for his extraordinary swiftness. Especially stronger and deflects. Dash damages. For Dighty? What's that? Your Highness. Sisyphus! Hey, Prince Ed. Must look like I'm slacking off with the old boulder here, but I was just getting back on my feet. The Fury Sisters don't often leave me be. Where'd they go, anyway? And, um, what are you doing here? Oh, you know, just out on a little stroll is all. Do me a favor, though. You see the Fury Sisters. Let them know I was headed down the way I came from, will you? Oh, I'll let them know, all right. I hear you loud and clear, Your Highness. I'll just go about my business now, and you take care. Oh. <coughs> Darkness. Give me darkness. It's all yours. Nice. Me. Cheers. Most of those who earn the highest form of punishment in Tartarus committed act I hesitate to, co to commit to the page, though Sisyphus is an exception to the rule. Can I help you with the boulder somehow? Never mind. See you again. Upgrade health. Hey, good to see you out here, mate. It looks as though you've got some fine wares up for sale, don't you? Uh huh. Totally. Wait, I can buy. No, oh, that's that's a heal. That's a boost. I can't afford it. Bye. We meet again. Hey, Meg. What are you doing, Zagreus? The underworld is sealed off. What you're attempting is impossible. You've seen what happens when you go too far. This place can't stay sealed shut forever, Meg. In the meantime, I thought I'd get some practice in, you know? I'm not your practice partner, fool. God damn it, I'm not getting out of the out of the way fast enough. Protected. You better run. Oh, I'm running. God damn it! It's 
she gonna kick my ass again? God damn it. Ah, death defied! You asked for this. Death defied. Yes. Okay. I need to freaking heal. Don't mind me, father. Uh, Cyclops jockey. Let's go with that. Purge boons for coin. No, I like these boons. See you, Tartarus. As for Dell. Hot up here. Wasn't this whole expanse once lush and green? Doesn't look like it. Inferno bombers. Out of the freaking fire! What's going on there, cuz? Can I call you, cuz? Got something here for you? Should make your battles to the death end that much quicker. Yeah, cuz, cuz works. Special is faster. Oh, that's good. Quickly dash to recover. Quick reload. Who felt that? Get me out of here. Wave makers. In life, they worship the Chthonic gods through profane practices beyond the knowledge or the capability of lesser souls. 
One time finds so many long forgotten cults which worshipped monsters slain by heroes at some point. These remnants of the living yet possess capacity to give a certain shape to diabolic energies. That sounds kind of doom like actually. Whatever, let's try it. My coffers are not yours for pillaging. Gorgon. As the immortal Ica of the most infamous of Gorgons spilled from her severed head into the earth, it trickled down into the underworld and spawned a brood of vengeful offspring. Marauding warriors that once lived in sin and lusted after murder, now reborn beneath the earth, eternally reliving the final violent moments of their days of war and strife. For mortals, the need occasionally arises to draw blood, whether for cause or by necessity. But there are also those who do it for its own sake, monsters in the form of men, revealed finally for what they are once in this realm. Spin attack, hold attack, yes. Specials becomes a shot that deals 50 base damage in an area. What? I need all the firepower I can get. Oh yes! I love it. Daedalus is awesome. What's in the pool this time? Slain falls a 50% chance to drop health boosting items. Sure Infernal Trove will spawn ahead. Give me this. And give me this. Zeus! Never been this Uncle. far. Why, well, it's the barge of death. Haha. Okay. 
The underworld was born of nothingness, of pure chaotic void. Vestiges of this remain within this place, crystallized into a form of something that could not rightly be called life. Even now, reduced merely to shades, they are compelled by evil thoughts and take to brandishing about crude weapons washed down by the river sticks. I just know you'll reach the surface here eventually, Zagreus, and I look forward to our meeting when you do. Attack amidst chain lightning, Carl makes lightning rapidly strike nearby foes. The might of the heavens. Call is a D. Summon. How about we call this and summon this? Ow. Attack deals more damage. Your bull with knock away effects also rapture. <clears throat> How many of my brethren did he drown during my mortal days? He comes across as affable, yet I've not forgiven him. Sure, why not? You shall regret this. Gems or keys? Gems. I think I have a lot, quite enough gems. Let's get some keys. Oh, I uh, should have. Hmm. Gorgons. Gorgons. Thank you. Anything I missed? Guess not. Traverse the flaming river Phlegathon to gain this vantage point. Relentless Zagreus must now confront a foe of unimaginable savagery who lies ahead, awaiting patiently its time to strike. Way to spoil the surprise, old man. <laughs> the Naga, I'm guessing. I accept this message. Fast drop. Quickly dash. Move faster. What's that? Naga's gonna kick my ass, right? Um, hello? Oh, great.
Give the thing to a friend. Hi. Oh, uh, hey there, Dusa. How's your endless toil treating you? Um, Mr. Hypnos, do you maybe think that you could, you know, uh, keep an eye on the procession line before Lord Hades, like you were supposed to? Oh, um, that's no problem. I can definitely do that. I'll just add it to the list. Um, good, then. Glad we had the chance to chat. No. Maybe get some sleep or something. You look pretty beat. Get on it, Hypnos. Hail, Prince. Your enemy is not the wretched dead, and not your father, lad. It is the underworld itself. It has been fashioned to prevent escape. You must have seen by now how all the chambers seem to rearrange themselves. The underworld itself, my enemy. I'll do my best anticipating its surprises, sir. Hey, Achilles. Look, this really isn't much, but here. This really is for me? You beat me to it, then, as I had meant to give you this when next we spoke. Please, take it. Thanks so much, sir. Mermid and Bracel? <clears throat> I barely fought too many of them. Yeah, okay. So what did I unlock exactly? Gorgon Okay This, this has to be something, right? I saw... oh, locked. Don't think I'm welcome in there. What's, Stay out of there. What's in there? I should check in with the house contractor. Hey boy, just me again. Here to report, it's pretty dangerous out there even without you on guard duty all the time. The venerable hound of hell barely acknowledges the softly spoken prince's platitude, knowing full well the underworld is not as vigilantly guarded as in ages past. Yes, the massive beast has feasted on no short supply of interlopers to the underworld or on those attempting to escape. However, tales of the number of his heads are oft exaggerated, as, and in his old age his temperament has grown much more relaxed. Indeed, he seems one of the sole sources of comfort for the house's grim master. More pets? More pets. Want this? Look what I got for you, boy. 
As one of Cerberus's heads receives the prince's gift, another muzzles something back into his hand. Thank Old you, spiked collar. What did I tell you, boy? Ever wasteful of your time and mine. How fares my underworld? I don't know how you can stand it. <laughs> well, at least some things are running smoothly still. Next you go to die again, do give the tortured souls out there my warm regards. Yet his meticulous veneer gives way to impatience frequently enough, especially with his only son. This resentment extends to his never-ending walk, for he presides over an endless procession of the dead. The master claims he alone can tend to their affairs, but grudgingly, I think, expects his son's support. Switch keepsakes between regions, make the fate's prophecies come to pass. Chambers may contain urns. That would be nice. Here, the underworld could always use a little extra renovating, right? What is it do you think that shall achieve? Chambers may contain urns. Okay. This looks to be an excellent investment contractor. Go on and make it so. No time to rest. What are your sisters up to these days, Meg? I've not seen them around. We're stretched a little thin, as you can see. Some kind of war up there meant lots of business here. I'm left to hold the line and deal with you. Hmm. I heard lately from the goddess Athena, Nix. She seems to admire you. I thought Olympians didn't like our kind. They typically do not. But you are family, child. And I, why, I believed Athena wise enough to understand why someone such as I would seek her in particular. She has in turn made others in her family aware. You make a good team. I want to go lie down. It is the dead of night, or the approximation of it in the realm of Hades. Prince of the underworld, Zagreus, rises from a fitful slumber with much mischief on his <laughs> mind. Mischief? Me? I was just going to have a little look through father's stuff. All is quiet at this time. Ever dreaming Hypnos put a spell upon the house, as Wilful Zagreus had asked of him. All are fast asleep, save for the prince. It is exactly as he planned. Lower your voice, old man. I'm trying to be sneaky here. He ventures toward the stately throne of his lord father, half expecting to be caught, but ill expecting what he is about to find. Spoilers. I said shut up, old man. He does not know exactly what he seeks. He only knows that something always has felt off to him. That he does not belong. Who is he, really? Lord Hades never would indulge such questions. So Prince Zagreus would find out for himself. I'm not listening. <laughs> he rifles through his Lord Father's possessions. There is not much of any import there. Ledgers and administrative parchment work. Correspondence from Olympus which he had ignored. No trace of any reference to his son. But then... There is the note. Written finally in a hand and voice the likes of which the prince had never seen or heard. Hades. I can no longer tolerate my life here in this place. 
So I'm leaving, even if it kills me. I won't be returning to Olympus. If there is a place where I belong in this world, it must be somewhere between heaven and hell. Perhaps it's on the coast and has a little garden. Take care of Cerberus. I shall miss him. Oh, Persephone. Persephone. Thus did Prince of the Underworld Zagreus absorb the contents of this hidden letter, written in his mother's hand. His mother's hand? My mother's hand? Wait, what? <laughs> You're saying this Persephone, that she's my mother? But, but father always said that Nyx was m that liar. He lied to me. They both did. All my life. Uh, thus did the prince discover inadvertently the well-kept truth about his lineage. Entirely by chance, this did occur. <laughs> Persephone, the one-time queen of all the underworld. Where had she gone? And why? Engulfed by newfound questions and his rage, the prince decided to confront his lord and master. <sighs> you... why? You... you're... Nix, you're not my mother. All this time, you and my father, you... you lied to me? Oh, my dear child. So now you know. So now you know. But... Only half the truth. I can explain the rest, so... Please. It never was my wish to hurt you. Mother, I wonder, will you even remember me? Yet, nonetheless, she turns about the Master's house and conducts such affairs that fail to reach his notice or gain his attention. Sonic Vitality. Okay. Hey Skelly, you look like you know your way around Tartarus. Found some of this ancient Titan blood out there and I was looking to score some more. Ah, you come to the right place regarding that there, pal. It's your mean weapons back there that can find this stuff. Once you get all the way through Tartarus with one, that's all the blood you're gonna get. For the time being, anyhow. How am I supposed to keep track of which weapons I've earned these with, then? I don't know. There's always the invention of writing stuff <laughs> something out. Uh-huh. Let's see what's in here. Aegis. Aegis. Lend me your power. What you Ash. Defend. Oh, throw. I am slain. <laughs> All right, back to work. The chambers of Tartarus have probably already arranged themselves by now. Okay, let's try the shield. Whip twenty per cent. What does the twenty per cent mean? Mean 
Let's go, Coronacht. This ought to be good. Why does this one have plus 20%? Okay, fire. I'm not going to do an next turn right now. Whenever you find, gain 20%. Why? New one there. Take 20% damage from the front, but take plus 10% damage from the back. Add 25 to your life total. Might help. Cute doggo. Keepsakes hold power. Not sure I like this one. Okay, I'm not gonna do another run right now. I'll do it later. I'm gonna go get some dinner. But thanks for watching. See you next time. Stay good. Have fun.